Alaska is known for its wild, untouched frontiers and for the countless animal species roaming its landscapes. Even in major cities like Anchorage, you never know what creatures you'll come across in the great Alaskan outdoors. After all, much of this amazing state remains so very remote. One woman named Pam Ose knows this better than most based on her experiences at her home in Unalaska, Alaska. When she recently went to check up on her cat Gizmo, she was stunned to see that her cat was not at all in the state she had last seen him. Alaska is America's biggest state and by far one of the country's most beautiful locales. It's known for its wild forests and variety of unique wildlife. You might imagine Alaska is a place that's covered in year-round snow, but there's much more to it than that. As a lifelong resident, Pam Ose was used to seeing all the wonder of the Alaskan wild, including its many creatures, around her home. That was just part of the reason why she chose to make a life in this corner of the country. On one particular day, however, she heard strange noises outside that she didn't recognize. She assumed it was probably an animal, but she couldn't be sure. She was curious, but she also knew to proceed with caution. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Deciding it was time to investigate, Pam began to peer out onto her porch and see what was causing the commotion. She was sure to take it slow, as she didn't want to attract any undue attention in case it was an intruder. The very first thing she saw was one of her cats, Gizmo, who was hanging out in a bin near the siding. There was nothing unusual about finding Gizmo outside. He was totally allowed to roam, both indoors and outdoors. Gizmo looked back at her with a very relaxed gaze. It couldn't have been him that was causing the noise. He was simply minding his own business. So if it wasn't the cat, where were those noises coming from? Pam's other cat, Suitcase, was nowhere in sight at first, which slightly concerned her. Both Gizmo and Suitcase usually stayed close to each other, but much to Pam's relief, Suitcase quickly came bounding up onto the porch within a few moments. All in all, it seemed like an average day for some snow-loving cats. Pam had no idea what exactly caused the unusual commotion a few minutes earlier. It was a strange mystery, and she was starting to think it might never be solved. That was when Gizmo got up and made his way to the other side of the porch, and Pam spotted something that she'd missed when she first came outside, a bald eagle. She'd never seen such a beautiful bird so close before. Pam couldn't help but stare in awe at the sight. Of course, she named him Mr. Eagle. He was so stunning she couldn't even believe he was real. But then she noticed something else. The bird of prey was inching toward her cats. It didn't look like her cat seemed to mind. Then Pam got another shock. The eagle wasn't alone. She spotted Mr. Eagle's partner waiting for him on the lamppost at the end of the driveway. Before long, this second eagle also came to visit. Suddenly there was a rustling noise near the stairs. Much to Pam's shock, a fluffy red fox poked his head over the top step. Pam's porch was turning into an Alaskan version of Snow White. Initially, the fox seemed a bit shy when he noticed Pam, but then he quickly warmed up to the attention he was getting from his new human friend. Pam couldn't get over what she was seeing on her porch. Encounters like this were just some of the reasons why people moved to Alaska. The fox didn't seem to mind hanging out with two cats and the birds of prey at all. In fact, all of the animals seemed to be more than comfortable in each other's presence. It was beyond bizarre. Pam had seen a lot of interesting wildlife interactions during the years she lived in Alaska, but this was by far the most unique and adorable. She had to whip out her camera and make sure she captured the moment. Our fox and eagles and cats basically get along just fine here, wrote Pam. They aren't always out to attack and kill each other. Those words would be hard to believe if you didn't see it for yourself in her photos and video footage. Despite their peaceful get-togethers, Pam did admit that they might bicker over scraps of food, but that was about it. After all, in the natural world, food can be limited in the wintertime, and these creatures have to find a way to survive. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.